Yeah, it's done through this equipment. Positioned all over the country because of the temperature, right? Local kids learning from the best. That's our very own chief meteorologist, Doppler Dave Spielman, at the Farm and Ranch Museum in Las Cruces, giving some hands-on learning to some local kids about the weather. And now, Doppler, i got to ask you, any future meteorologists in that group this morning? You know, they, they were from all over. They even came from Juarez, you know, the, the kids out there. So, yeah, we talked about weather, and they go to each individual station and learn different things. I mean, they have uh, uh, cowboys out there talking about how it was and how you can uh, you know work with cattle and they have sheep herding and it's really neat uh, so they just go to different uh, stations and you know tomorrow cowboy days continues out there at the farm and ranch museum and if you would like to take the family boy it's going to be a great day to do so they have it going on from nine o'clock until four o'clock ten dollars per vehicle so uh, as many as you can stick in your car or minivan whatever the case is take the kids it's just going to be a lot of fun out there uh, they have chuck wagon cooking, horseshoe demonstration, trick roping, all kinds of stuff. You just go check it all out and go to the Farm and Ranch Museum. and It's just a, a great time. I've been out there many times with my family, and we really enjoyed it out there. So head out tomorrow if you don't have any special plans. All right, here's a look at our latest future track computer model, and you can see the lack of clouds. We're just going to have clear skies in here tonight and lots of sunshine throughout the day for tomorrow. So whatever your outdoor plans are, Maybe you're just going to go out there and just work around the house. Got some cleanup, some spring cleaning going on. You'll have no issues whatsoever, whatsoever with the uh, weather. And then uh, notice that Saturday night at 5 o'clock, we'll be looking at clear skies. Sunday looks good, too. Uh, Sunday is going to be even a warmer day as we make our way through Sunday. So those temperatures are going to climb into the low and mid-70s area-wide. And there it is by 10 o'clock on your Saturday night. Again, we're not going to have any issues to deal with. Notice the seven day wind cast 15 tomorrow, 25 on Sunday. So some breezes on Sunday. That's it. 15 Monday, 25 on Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday. Right now the winds start to pick up moderate range of the windy category with those gusts hitting 35. Overnight lows by tomorrow morning. A little cool tomorrow. We we'll, should stay a little bit above the freezing mark. Usually high temperatures for tomorrow. We're going to climb to the upper 60s and low 70s. So, get a beautiful day expected on your Saturday. Donietta County for you folks. The overnight lows dropping down into the 30s and high temperatures for tomorrow. Once again, you folks will be climbing into the upper 60s and right around 70 degrees. As I mentioned, the winds aren't going to be doing a whole lot for tomorrow. They're generally going to be at right around 5 to 15 miles per hour anticipated. As we uh, look ahead to the next seven days, we are going to notice that, again, those temperatures are going to be working their way into the 70s. We've got 74 in here on Sunday, 74 on Monday. Then as we make our way into next week, we're going to be looking at those temperatures gradually cooling down. We are going to see a slight chance for some rain as we look ahead. We've got a little slow computer. Here we go. Notice the uh, chance of rain Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and temperatures will gradually begin to cool down, Sam. All right, David, thanks so much. Now I want to give a shout.